Hello, my name is Dan Lewis and uh, the President and CEO of Laser Products Industries. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company uh, and a little bit about our product. Um, as a company, uh, we've been in business for 20 years. We are um, uh, completely American uh, manufacturing facilities, uh, employees, benefit insured Americans. We use American equipment and American parts. Um, we believe that, that we are producing a laser that is uh, the ultimate product for what you need to be digital in this industry. Our mission or our mission statement at Laser Products is to design and build products that make your life easier but do not require you to learn a new skill. Uh, you'll hear much about that later on when we talk about the fact that we use languages instead of CAD and things like that. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the, the fact that if you want to go digital, uh, you have to look at history. History is a great uh, learning tool for us. I never used to think history was very important. Uh, but now I look back, and, and if you take an example of the metalworking industry, uh, about 10 or 12 years ago, uh, about 50 to 60 percent of the metalworking industry was digital, uh, similar to the stone industry or the countertop industry today. But today, if you still are cranking knobs and you're not digital in the metalworking industry, you're basically a hobbyist. You're not in business anymore. So what I'm trying to say is that 100% of the metalworking industry is digital. Probably the reason they went first is because their tolerances were tighter than ours. Uh, they had to deal with, you know, maybe plus or minus five thousandths where, you know, we could get away with a lot bigger than that. So digital was more important for them. But nonetheless, every industry that measures and fabricates things from existing measurements is going to be 100% digital in the future. Uh, the big question is when. Uh, my guess is that the stone industry, uh, let's say 20 years ago, was 0% digital, and now it's about 40 to 45, if you listen to some of the pundits out there. Our guess is that in the next six years to 10 years, that everything in the stone industry will be digital. So it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And your uh, choice now is, you know, what system do I buy? You know, do I buy, uh, what CNC do I buy? What, what jet saw? What things do I have to get to become digital? Well, the first thing you need is digital measurements. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been called by fabricators to come out because they bought a CNC jet saw, let's say, and it was the big day. They got the water, the air, the electric all hooked up, and it's time to cut something. So the, the installer of the machine says, okay, give me a file, we'll, we'll cut something. And then somebody walks up with a eight foot wooden stick template. And then it starts. The guy says, okay, if you want to grind that up and pour it into the USB, maybe we can get something, but it's not digital. It's not going to work. So what do they do? They put it up on the bed, they put a laser in the spindle and they jog, 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 jog around and try to do basically what we do at the job site. But the owner of the business says, hey, I was just told by the salesman that this thing isn't screaming all day. I'm not making money. And, and, and therefore, why am I doing this? Well, you should have had digital templating before, before you moved to a digital saw and a digital router. Um, the majority of the fabricators in the United States that have gone digital um, are in, I would like to say, two classes. Now, you may put yourself in one of these classes. One would be the high-quality guy. You think that you are the best. We all do, by the way. Um, but at any rate, you think you're the highest quality guy. Well, if that excites you, how about the fact that, that I think it's nine out of ten of the last fabricators of the year as voted by the MIA for their best quality and business practices all use this. And I would bet you that almost all of them have other systems in the closet they tried before. Um, so, so if you're interested in being a high quality guy, this is your product. Now, there's other people that are just looking for volume. And if that's important to you, we could say, well, what about the top 20 to 30 fabricators in the world? I'm talking guys that will do 3,000, 4,000 kitchens a week. Um, they use this also, all of them. And they all have stuff in the closet. I've seen them. I've been there when we changed them over, and that's where they're at. So. Uh, if you want to look at history, again, um, who's using it? The biggest and the best 
And that's, you got to fit in one of those two categories yourself, okay? Um, so, what do we use it for and what makes it good? Um, we primarily are in the countertop or granite fabricating uh, business, but we also sell to fabric, steel, wood, uh, concrete, Everybody that else that has to measure in existing conditions of a job site or the as-built conditions and needs to have some product conform to those dimensions. Um, in some cases, a lot of people will decide to go uh, digital templating first before they get their CNC materials, okay, or their equipment. Uh, that's good too. Now, there's several ways to do that. One is to buy a vinyl plotter, several manufacturers out there that make those. And essentially what you do is you shoot the job, you email the file back to the shop, they print a full-size vinyl template, which you put, and it's clear, nice, you can see through it, unlike cardboard or wood sticks and stuff. You put that on the slab, you trace it and cut it manually and fabricate it manually like you're doing. Well, the good news there is you're getting used to digital templating because inevitably you're going to buy a CNC. So when a CNC comes, you're all ready for it, okay? Now, let's suppose you got a CNC coming in a, in a month or two, and you say, well, I really don't want to buy a plotter. It's, you know, it could be six, $8,000. Um, we will actually cut vinyl templates for you. Um, but the trade-off there is if you're going to do that for more than like three or four months, you might as well buy the plotter because you're going to spend that much in daily uh, templates if you're doing an average of 10 kitchens a week, let's say. You know, and we, we think that that's pretty much an average fabricator in this country, although there's people doing thousands. Um, so you say, I've been doing it this way for 20 years, and I'm okay with that. And you may be. Uh, let me ask you this. If you were to have brain surgery, would you like to go to a doctor that hasn't been to any updated training in the last 20 years? I don't think so. Um, your customers see this. Um, they see it on TV. We've been on almost every home improvement show you can imagine. Not us, our customers. Um, and I've even had customers, would-be customers call and say, well, I guess I got to buy your laser. Oh, wow, you don't sound so enthused. Well, I'm tired of people coming in and asking if I measure with a laser. Well, that's because it is good. People and customers recognize professionalism. And if you want to be on that side of it, much like the neurosurgeon who knows what he's doing, then that's where you should go. So let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen differently with digital templating from where you're at now. Um, first of all, you don't have to tear out the countertops to measure. The customer's not eating McDonald's for a week or two. She's got running water in her kitchen for a bonus. Um, because you can measure below the, the overhangs and above the splashes uh, and get a representation of the exact countertop and the wall and perfections and everything else. Um, why risk transporting a hard template in a truck? God forbid if it's an open back pickup or something that gets wet. Think of the time that, that the... Um, uh, you would spend driving templates from the job site back to the shop. Compare that to, well, a nanosecond of an email. Beep, that's it. It's there. You go on to the next job or the next or the next or the next. And you're not driving back and forth with templates. You're not buying it. Look at your annual Luan bill. I mean, what I'm going to talk about a little bit now as part of this is that we're going to try to show you how much money that you know we can save. Look at your annual Luan bill. Figure out how many jobs you've done and how many hours you're driving templates back to the shop when they could be emailed and the templar can go back home. Some of the bigger guys never go to the shop. They email the six or eight or ten jobs a day that they have to template. Oh, yeah, you'll be templating that many if you do it digitally. And you got to have them fairly close proximity. I mean, you're not, if you've got an hour to drive to each one, you're never going to get ten a day. Um, uh, but... Assuming that you can get to knock on 10 doors a day, you're only going to spend 15 minutes in the house, 20 maybe at the most. Um, that's all you need. Now, we, we talked a little bit about the, um, uh, the, the transitional people, people who, who um, are uh, moving from uh, manual to digital. About 60% of our customers are in that position. 
Remember we said that about 40 some percent of the stone industry is, is digital now? Well, those other 60% of our customers are using plotters and things like that in preparation for the day when they can save the money. And we will find you that money. Um, it's not uncommon for us, for a, a, let's say a 10 kitchen a week fabricator to pick him up uh, six to $10,000 a month. You know, let's assume that you're paying somewhere around $15,000 for digital templating. Uh, what is that? Two, three months it's paid for, and then you're picking up an extra six or $10,000 a month? By the way, that's a CNC payment. Uh, you could probably get both pieces, a jet saw and a, and a, and a router for that. Um, so the payoff is there. And then you're looking at an additional uh, savings when you become uh, CNC capable or you're cutting with CNC because that's going to reduce your overall cost. Uh, there's no reason to think you couldn't take 20% of the cost of what it, uh, what it costs you to make a, a square foot of stone off your price now. In other words, you're going to save 20% uh, in, uh, in, in dollars on how much it costs you to make a foot of stone. That's a big deal if you can make it for 20% less. And then, you know, assuming you have the same amount of customers you have today and not even to find you any more customers, uh, you're going to make 20% more money than you made yesterday. Uh, for some of you, that could be going from breaking even to being profitable. Uh, if you want to look at a price per foot, it's somewhere between 3 to $5 a foot less that you will pay to make a foot of stone. I'm using that and 20% in conjunction. Um, and again, that's usually more money in savings than it would cost you to finance a CNC. Some other things on the return on investment. Uh, there's no consumables. That would be what, Luan or paper dots if you had an old photogrammy system. Um, the mistake part is huge. You may think that you don't have mistakes. I'll come to your yard and I will show you all the L-shaped pieces in the yard with a sinkhole in it and we'll ask you to explain where they came from. But suffice to say that any human can make a mistake. Any human, I don't care who it is, they can make a mistake with our product. Um, but the likelihood of one human making a mistake, let's say it's uh, 2%, okay? So any human can make 2% mistakes. Well, if that human that's making a stick template gives it to another human, you just doubled your ability to make mistakes. So now 4% of mistakes on an average 10 kitchen a week guy with about $1,000 for each top you got to recut, let's say, in the labor and the lost production and everything else, $1,000 low. I mean, you're probably going to think it's more than that. But that's $106,000 a year. Um, we're only talking $15,000 roughly here, okay? So it doesn't take long with either your annual Luan bill, your annual mistakes, the gas to drive them back, the time to drive them back. There's a ton of factors. I mean, we can get so finite to tell you that if you have workers comped templaters that are temp that are comped as a carpenter which is a very expensive comp and now they go to a computer operator that's like the least expensive comp you can buy because it's hard to cut your hand off in a computer that difference alone for one large fabricator that had 36 templaters was like hundred and ten thousand dollars a year just the difference in workman's comp um, again the scrap is, is huge. That's where a lot of the money's at. A lot of the money's in the labor, the gas, the time to transport, um, the fact that you can email the jobs back to the office. And it's completely paperless. If you want to go completely paperless, we can do that. That's another six to $10,000 a year for a, a, a fabricator that's doing, let's say, 10 kitchens a week. There's no ink, stamps, envelopes, toner, a girl to do it, the mistake that a three looked like an eight and a five looked like an eight, you know, uh, th those things are gone. Um, the customer signs a computer. Did you ever buy a car? You got to sign like 26 times. I did it recently, and I think it was 26 or 28, something like that. Well, we set up our software where you can actually sign the computer, customer's house, or in the showroom, and um, it will send her signature to all the forms, worksheet, shop sheet, DXF, the you know, the, the, the diagram of the, of the job, everything, the legalese, the co a contract, everything, the pictures. And we're going to get into that a little bit later, too, about how important all that stuff is. Um, one of the other, uh, what I think is one of the largest things that you're going to see differently is that because every job's going to fit, believe me, it will, if you measure it right, um, you're not going to be fitting, grinding, 
and doing things like that at the job site. So job installs will almost double. You know, if you have good crews, uh, if they're subcontractors, it's not going to make a difference monetarily, but you'll have more capability to grow. Um, quick story, one of my, a friend of mine um, didn't confide in me that he was buying granite. He just bought it on his own, and that's okay. And he was marveling at how they brought this big piece of granite in the house with the wheeled truck and whatnot. And he said, at the same time, there was a guy out in the driveway setting up a bunch of horses. And he said, what's that for? And he goes, oh, you'll see. That's pretty bad when a fabricator expects that he's going to have to modify a top before he even starts to install it. I mean, they're bringing the granite in the house and the guy's setting up horses. That's not a great expectation at all. Um, you should never have to leave that. I mean, we have guys that don't even give their installers much in the way of tools anymore because they say they don't need them. They either steal them, break them, or, or lose them. And, and um, that's an important thing. Um, some of the other things to think about, um, uh, if you're concerned about how much money it's going to save you specifically, because not everybody's the same, you go to our website, laserproducts.com, uh, and um, what you do is you go to, a, we have a ROI calculator. Basically, it's a spreadsheet. By the way, it's laserproductsus.com uh, because we have Laser Products Canada, Laser Products Europe, and all other countries. Uh, but anyway, you go to the, US, the, go to the uh, uh, ROI calculator. The ROI calculator is basically an active spreadsheet. What it's going to ask you to do is put in your labor rate, type of gas mileage you get on your vehicle, average amount of miles driven, what materials you use now, whether it's Luan or you know, Corplast or hand measuring or whatever. And it's going to ask you to fill all that stuff in. And then how many kitchens a week? What's your average sales price? Bing. You hit the button and it tells you how much every year you're going to save. No salesman involved. No high pressure. We don't roll that way. Uh, but it, our key is to try to get into your head the return on investment. You shouldn't buy anything in this world without doing the return on investment. I don't care what it is. Um, you have to know if what you're spending in money uh, it's going to return and how much it's going to return and when it's going to return it. Um, but that'll give you a little um, uh, insight as to how much money potentially you could save. And we even have a, a five-year and a 10-year button. That's scary. You'll be looking at millions over the 10-year time usually. Uh, and that's something you have to consider. Um, when you show up on the job site with this, people just appreciate it. We talked a little bit about that, but my customers tell me, I got to tell you more about it because it means a lot to them. Um, it's a lightweight system. It's not very heavy at all. You're talking about, uh, I don't know, 18 pounds or something totally. You can put it on the overhead in a plane. Um, it's very versatile to move around. Uh, a little bit about service and support and warranties. That's a big thing. You know, once you buy something, you got to know that it's going to be working for you. It's not going to break down. If it breaks down, what's going to happen? Okay. Um, let's start out with the warranties first. Uh, out of the gate, you're getting a one year bumper to bumper. We don't care what happens to it. We'll fix it for you. Now, where we shine and we're, we're the only ones doing this, let's suppose you back over it with your truck. It lands in a mud puddle and it's trash. You've got business to do. You've got templates to do. Uh, we'll send you another loaner, uh, another unit to use while we're fixing yours for free. No one else does that. But our belief is that you can't stop doing your, you're in business to do business. You're not in business to wait for me to fix something for you. So we'll send you a loaner if you have to have one. Um, that's a big deal. Like I say, we're the only guys doing that. And, um, and then when the year ends, you can extend that warranty. Okay, and it actually decreases over time. That's really the opposite. It should go up because the thing's older. It's more likely to break if it does, but very small amount, and it just it decreases over time. So you can continue that nice system where if it you drop it and break it, we you get a loaner and we fix it for free for you for very few dollars. Okay, um, and we can do that because I think we have some of the best people. Again, American made. Workers in our plants, they're benefited, they're insured. These are good guys. They put their name on every unit. They sign off on everything that goes out of here. They take pride in the quality of work they do, okay? Uh, and by the way, we're the only digital templating system made in the United States. Um, so a little bit about the software. Uh, we mentioned before that there was multiple languages. Well, 
One of our larger fabricators in the United States told me he has like 70 of these. He said, you know, Dan, he said, if I, if I were to hire CAD capable people to run as Templars, he said, I'm going to spend 15, maybe $20,000 a year more per man. He said, I've got 70 guys. That's a million dollars a year just in the additional cost that would, that would be there to provide people that, that understand CAD. Well, I got news for you. Every other system on the market is, has CAD symbols. And if you don't know what this or that or that or that means, you need a CAD guy. It's not all CAD. Some of them are a portion of CAD. Some of them are more CAD. But ours is language. If you want to add a backsplash, in your language, you hit add a backsplash. Um, and that's in your language. Um, I can't say that in some other language, but there's 14 of them in there. Um, you could store up to like 20,000, I think, some ridiculous amount of drop-ins. That would be, let's say, all of Kohler's and IPT and Blanco's and Franke sinks, everything in there. You can store things like custom corners and bump-outs and electrical outlets and things like that. Um, again, a second seat of software is provided. No one else does that. That's another exclusive for laser products. The second seat of software makes things really move smoothly. You put that in the, in the showroom, the customer comes in, they don't have an idea how big their kitchen is. But that's like from here to maybe here, they say, well, okay, you look at that, it's about eight feet, you draw an eight foot box. How big is your L? Oh, about this big, that's about a four foot L, you draw a four foot L. Which edge do you like? You show them your little rotating table of you know profiles and they pick a double bull nose and you hit that. Because we draw in 256 colors, you can match the color of a profile for a double bullnose that your CNC understands. And when it gets on the CNC, it goes over and grabs the seven double bullnose tools and does this while you're eating a Subway and a Coke. And then it sees a green line. Well, that's a single polished edge, maybe on the splashes or something. And it grabs those three or four tools, whatever you got, and, uh, and then it's done. You don't have to think. You don't even have to do a lot of, of, of CAD work or, or, or machine uh, setup, uh, it runs pretty automatic. And we can work with any CNC in the industry. Most of them accept uh, DXF, but we also output in DWG, RD, uh, PDF, and other sources. sources excuse me. Um, it'll produce a contract. In that contract, you would like to say, you know, maybe I'm going to make a mess. Uh, I, want my, I want your cabinets emptied out. If you got a dog, we want him chained up, blah, blah, blah. All those things that you forget to say maybe before the job goes down and then they, you argue later. Well, they sign that contract and their signature, one signature is sent to every other page or whatever you want it sent to and the photographs. Uh, and there's no doubt as to what happened. Speaking of that, the photographs. I want to say that I think that having... The photographs in the file, I mean, anybody could take a photograph with an iPhone, okay? Finding it, categorizing it to Mrs. Smith's job with a date on it and her signature on it, well, that's another thing. We do that for you. So you're out there at the template site, you template the job, and you notice there's a big scratch in the door of her sub-zero refrigerator. Hmm. Or there's a base unit that's not mounted yet. You take a picture of those. You can even draw on the pictures. If it's hard to see the little scratch, you can draw a little arrow on the picture and say scratch right on the picture. And by the way, when she signs the contract and you send her signatures to everything, her signature's on there. How, she's going to want a new door. You know how that works. And you're going to end up paying for it or making some kind of concession. You've done it before. I know you have. Okay, where, where something went wrong. You know it's her fault, but you've got to count out to that and you, you, you make some kind of concession. Well, in this case, you go, ah, oh, well, Mrs. Smith, yeah, uh, you might have thought that, but notice here on this uh, photograph that you signed on the 5th, which was the date that we templated. So really, it was a little hard for me to, you know, wheel 500 pounds worth of granite in here and scratch your sub-zero door. So probably that was already there, wasn't it? Yeah. And then you're out. Otherwise, you're going to pay for that. All those things, you put them in the bucket, the bucket's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. You need to do this. Um... So the photographs are real important. Um, another exclusive. We will give you free updates on the software forever. I need to repeat that probably. Forever. Uh, we average several hundred a year. Okay, some of them are a little bug fix or something like that. So you open up your computer. You're in a Wi-Fi area. It says, hey, new software exists. Would you like it? 
Sure, beep, it's yours. And there's a little button you can hit to tell you what we did. Uh, we might have added some new feature. Um, we're not like General Motors, you know. We can turn around in a phone booth, you know. They're like trying to turn around a 747. I'll give you an example of that. A gentleman called me one day and he said, Dan, you always fix my problems. He said, um, I hired a guy that's colorblind. I said, no problem. That's called the Wonderlic Ustrochromatic Colorblindness Test. You should give it to everybody, and if they don't pass it, they don't hire him. He goes, well, no, wait a minute. This guy's my nephew. i got to hire him. So, oh, that's different. So the next day, I called him up and said, all right, we got it fixed. So he opened up a file with a bunch of colors on it, and I said, hit that new button that says View Colors. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And it, and it says everywhere there was a red line, it said R-E-D, 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 B-L-U-E, B-L-U-E. And he said, oh, great, now I can use this guy. He called me back two weeks later, and he said, you know, Bob can see colors now. And he, he claimed that they never told him that the stoplight was red, and I wanted to know whose loins he came from, <laughs> whether it was his wife's nephew or his. But either way, the moral of that story is one request by one customer 24 hours later, we had the software change. Nobody else does that. Typically, out of any one of my competitors, you wait till 2015 or 16, you pay some money, some number, for 2.1 or 2.2, 5.6, whatever it is. And you get what you get. And maybe a year later, something else comes up. Well, we don't roll that way. We make changes when we have to make them, and you get them instantly upon that change being made. First, we roll them by a handful of fabricators that we know well, kind of a little test market group, beta testing, if you will. And when they give us the blessing, then we send it out to you. So it's all good stuff. Um, so I think I've given you a lot of information to help you make up your mind. Um, our job, I believe, is to educate you so you can make a good decision on what you need to buy. Um, and we do all of the things necessary to help you buy the product. We have um, long-term financing through a company that we use. Um, we believe you should always take advantage of the Section 179 as long as our government's given it to us. Um, and our website will give you, uh, all the contact names of all of our reps in your area. Um, and all you need to do is go there and either, or call our office direct and we'll transfer you to that area salesperson. Um, and there's other ways too. obviously you can just pan us a bunch of cash <laughs> or a check, or we can, we do some in-house financing, but it's all short term, like, you know, 60, 90 days, stuff like that. Uh, we'll find a way uh, to help you out and get you into this thing. It's important. It's something you should do. Uh, and I hate to say this, but it's something you will do eventually, whether it's with this or something else uh, at the time, uh, because you're going to need to do that to stay alive in this business. So I'd like to thank you for watching this. You've put up with me for a few minutes here, and um, please give us a shot. You'll see us at all the trade shows and all the magazines. We're there. Um, you know, I, I don't know if we got a shot at this This board here. Is Every little dot there is a customer, okay? This is the United States, and over there is, is uh, the other part of the planet. Um, but we basically, if you wanted to count all those dots, and then each dot could have more units per that customer, but there's over 5,000 of them. That's a lot. Everybody wants to tell you they're the world's leader in digital templating. Well, I believe we are. I mean, if we have all the biggest, all the best, and the most, I think that would qualify us for saying that we're the world's leader in digital templating. Um, we've been doing it a long time. We do it accurately. We have the best products, and they're all made here. Please give us a shot at it. We appreciate you. Thank you.